What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am making a video about five traits that might be a little weird and that you might not think are attractive, but watch how the woman is gonna fucking chase you if you have those traits. Yep, because you want them bitches to fucking chase, right? Because you're tired of chasing and you want to look more attractive. And I'm telling you, it's not about the look, like the look, the face, the body. It's not all about that. It's actually some shit that you can implement to make you look more attractive. I am telling you. Let's go. Number one, personal boundaries. Yes, so what you expect and what you allow from other people to do to you. This is very important. What are you willing to tolerate from the bitch? Pretty much. What are you willing to tolerate? The more you're going to be like nonchalant and everything is cool, the more she's going to walk all over you and the least attractive you're going to be to her. And that's really the problem with Mr. Nice Guy. Like, for example, the bitch keeps on showing up late. She's late left and right, probably doesn't even apologize, and she's just late. Mr. Nice Guy is going to be like, well, it's not that bad. I can wait 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It's not that big of a deal. So you never mention it. You never say nothing. No, motherfucker. The, the thing is going to be like, she feels like she can do that all the time. Also, that means she doesn't even care about your fucking time. She has no respect for your fucking time. And because she feels like she doesn't need to respect your time, she can be late and all of this in her mind. It's starting to feel like, well, I can do whatever the fuck I want. He's not going to say nothing. He's just a fucking pushover. All of this. And even if in your mind you thought you were just being nice and understanding, it transfers to her as you are not attractive. This is not an attractive trait. She's not respecting you and you are tolerating it. Tolerating? Whatever. You know what I'm saying. But yes, this is not okay. You got to check the bitch. I tell you all the time, you got to check the bitch at all times. I do not care, small, big. You got to check because the moment you don't check, you're weak in her mind. You're weak. So another example, like maybe you have house rules. When um, I had a friend, for example, he was like, you cannot sit on my bed with your outside clothes. And that's something I knew and I respected it. And I was just sitting on the couch, you know. But if you have that rule and she knows it and then she goes and sit on your bed and you don't say nothing because you don't want to upset her. You don't want her to leave. You don't want her to decide, oh, well, I'm not fucking him. You lost because the fact that she knows you have that boundary and she's still like trying to cross it, it's just she's testing you. That's, that's again, that's another test. She's just trying to test you to see if you're going to check her. Make sure you check a bitch. In your mind, you think like, well, she's probably not going to like me and stuff. I'm telling you, it's going to do the opposite. If you check her, if you speak up and you're not a pushover and you tell her, yo, I don't stand for that shit, don't do that. Watch how much more she's gonna like you. I know you think like, well, that's being an asshole. No, that's not being an asshole. That's you telling her what you're gonna tolerate and what you're not gonna tolerate. And when she knows that, if she still tries to cross that boundary, check her. It shows that you are not scared of voicing your opinion. That's very attractive. And it tells her that you won't tolerate bad behavior. Number two, having high standards. Yes, your standards need to be high. Because if you have low standards, and like it seems like you're settling in everything in your life like for example you have a job but you don't really like your job and when you talk to her you let her know like yo that's something temporary i don't really like it right now so it's like you're settling for that job kind of or maybe you have a house and your house is not really that well decorated you know we can see you didn't put any thoughts into decorating your house so right there that might be something that a woman is going to be like he has low standards because this is this is where he lives this is how he lives you know you got to make sure that you set high standards for yourself because a woman is going to look at that and be like okay if he picks me it's because he thinks i can complement those high standards that he has and that it's not like a downgrade for him you know so women want to feel like you have high standards number three autonomy I think that's how you say it. So pretty much it's the act of being self-governing. You are a man who has a clear destination in mind. Like nobody can like knock you off your path. Everything that is around you, that surrounds you is secondary. Your goal, what you're doing, your destination, what you're thinking you need to accomplish is number one. Always number one. 
and nobody else is going to do it for you and the women that comes into your life are always going to be number two i mean they might be three or four or whatever women are attracted to that because what they want to do they want to jump on the ride like you know you're going to that destination and she just want to jump on and be with you and go to that destination with you because you know women are going to claim they want to be number one but watch as soon as you put her number one she's like oh he likes me too much oh, oh. So I'm telling you, the more you work towards your destination and towards what you're trying to accomplish, the more a woman is going to be attracted to you. A bunch of you guys, your destination is pussy land. So that is the problem because you guys only like pussy pussy, like that's that's what you're going for. No, a woman is not going to be attracted to a guy that just want to fuck everything that moves. Also, having goals allows you to be a man that can walk away because you're like, you know, when the bitch is going to be like, well, it's me or this. Well, it's going to be this because I need to accomplish my shit and you're second. So if you cannot understand that, I am willing to walk away from you. So you, that's the type of guy you need to be. You can be the type of guy that's going to be like, oh my God, if I don't do what she wants, she's going to leave me. No, the bitch can leave because you are your own person and you are something that you're trying to make happen. And that's what you're focusing on. The women is like second. Being autonomous means that you don't let other people or other people's opinion dictate your behavior. Number four, having strong opinions. I think I, there is no really explanation for me to give you, but pretty much that shows confidence. Nobody, no women want to be around a dude that she feels like he's not going to really express what he's thinking. Or, you know, for example, your girl comes and tells you a story. Yo, so this happened and this and that. And in your mind, you're like, bitch, you're wrong. But to her, you're like, yeah, Brenda was fucking crazy for saying that to you when you know damn well Brenda was right to tell her that but you don't want to tell your girl because you're like well i don't want her to be mad i don't want her to feel like i'm taking brenda's side no you gotta have strong opinions and if your bitch fucked up tell her yeah brenda was right for calling you out because that was some bullshit you know you don't have to be mean when you say it but it gotta be said do not like side with her all the time especially when you don't agree if you agree well side with her obviously don't just be the guy that wants to create you know an argument or like whatever but if you don't agree with her you gotta let her know call her on her bullshit always express what you feel and don't be scared and number five an easy one that a lot of guys don't have being fun yes you know that's all women want to fucking do we want to have fun you know but like flirting with a lady being funny being fun that's really gonna help you also somebody that's fun equate like somebody that's like there is uncertainty behind it there is mystery because when you're fun and we never know what's going to come out of your mouth or we never know how you're going to react to a situation it's uncertain and we're like how is he going to react to that let's see like you know we're like kind of like looking forward to it because we don't know what you're about to say so that makes it fun if you think about it if there is a basketball game that you're watching it's fun and it's entertaining because you don't know the outcome. You don't know who is going to win. You don't know who is going to lose. So it's exciting. But when, you know, maybe you miss the game and you're going to say, yeah, I'm still going to watch the game tomorrow, but you already know who won. When you watch it, are you that excited? Probably not. It's cool because you see the moves and all that shit, you know, and the good points. But it's not as exciting because you already know who won. And fun doesn't always mean that you have to be the life of the party or anything, but it's more like, you know, somebody that takes risk. Because if you're like Mr. I'm always politically, uh, politically, politically, it's hard, politically correct. It's like, I'm telling you, the girl is gonna associate it as like, you're a little boring, you're a little too safe. You know, it's not fun. Women like surprises. They like to not know exactly what's gonna happen. Yes. So that's it. That's all I have for you today. Those were five traits that would make you more attractive because you'll be thinking it's all physical. No, I am telling you, I've told you plenty of time. I dated this dude. Ugly. I shouldn't be calling people ugly, but ugly to me. He wasn't attractive to me in the face and in the body. Sorry. And um, I dated him. I did because he was so much fun. He had high standards. He had strong opinion. He was really like focused on where he was going. All of that shit like just turned me on. So it might be hard for like when you first meet a girl and like maybe you don't get a chance to talk to her so she doesn't 
give you that for you to talk and for her to see all those qualities that you have. But who cares? That bitch that's going to stop you right away when she doesn't know what you want, doesn't know you or nothing. That's not the bitch for you. Make sure you get bitches that actually allow you to introduce yourself, to talk and not just look at you and be like, no, I'm good. You know, that's not the type of bitch for you. But if you get the chance, um, I shouldn't even say the chance because she's the one missing out. But if you get to talk to a girl, try to show those traits. Hopefully you have them or you're going to work on it to get them. Yes. All right. So that's it. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you can uh, like, share, comment this video. And also you can follow me on Instagram at MeliLoveXO and at MeliMonaco. Yes. All right, guys. I will talk to you. I need to go take care of them chaplets. I be LL Cool J all day long. Yeah, I need. Yeah. Goodbye.